Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. The white Yale University student who last week reported a black student to police for falling asleep in a dorm common room allegedly overreacted similarly before. What, Rines and Jean-Louis, a graduate student at Yale's Divinity School, on Saturday told CNN that in February that Sarah Brosh called police on him when he came to her dorm for a meeting. He said the meeting was with Lolaid Sian Bola, the black graduate student who Brosh reported for napping and that they together reported the incident to Yale. It sends a message to many black students who experience these microaggressions all the time that, what Sarah told me, you don't belong here, he said. To see that this can happen at any given moment at Yale is problematic. Why, Jane Lewis' account has added to outrage over what many see as an American problem of discrimination against blacks, which has escalated after Sion Bola and others across the United States recently captured similar incidents on tape. Play-by-play -play hours after Sion Bola's videos of Brosh reporting her and the police responding went viral, Jean-Louis recounted his experience in a Facebook post. He said that on February 24, he got lost as he tried to make his way to a meeting in the Hall of Graduate Studies. After riding the elevator up to the 12th floor with Brosh, Jean-Louis said, he ran into her again and asked her for directions to the common room where he was to meet Sian Bola. But he said she blocked the common room's door entrance calling him an intruder and saying he didn't belong here and was making her uncomfortable. Eventually, Jean-Louis said, Brosh left and he managed to meet with Sian Bola. Soon, though, several police officers showed up, and Sian Bola was forced to explain that Jean-Louis was a Yale student and her guest, he said. The police explained that callers racially profile all the time, Jean-Louis said, which he felt was making it his problem. Wait, I'm supposed to be used to getting racially profiled, he remembered thinking. You want me to make this normal because you've normalized it. After Jean Loyos and Sian Bola in March reported Brosh to the Associate Dean of Development and Diversity, Jean-Louis said he three black deans followed up with him. But he said Yale required no accountability for students who racially profile. He demanded Brosh be expelled. Jean-Louis with the support of Sian Bola, who contributed to his Facebook post tied Brosh's actions to the broader issue of American violence against blacks, from an era we are not far removed from an era in which lynching of free black individuals and families was weekend entertainment for white Americans, he said. We remain in the era in which free black men, women, and children are publicly executed by the police with impunity and as social media and national news video entertainment. Chatter the handful of comments on Jean-Louis Facebook post were supportive. Sian Bola's videos were together viewed nearly 2.5 million times, with many commenters complaining that they captured an all-too-common reality. Graduate School of Arts and Sciences Dean Lynn Cooley sent an email late to her students Tuesday evening pledging to a redoubling our efforts to build a supportive community. Yale Police Chief Ronald Higgins said in a statement Thursday that responding officers had told Brosh that Sian Bola had every right to be there. He said they also told her the incident was not a police matter and they would report what happened to the graduate school dean. Sian Bola wrote in a Facebook post Tuesday afternoon, grateful for all the love, kind words, and prayers, your support has been overwhelming. Black Yale community is beyond incredible and is taking good care of me. I know this incident is a drop in the bucket of trauma black folk have endured since day one America, and you all have stories. Share below if you feel led.